Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com my name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic for Bank of Maharashtra Journalist Officer 2023 exam so important topic for the professional knowledge section the ratio analysis ratio analysis mein today we are going to do the turnover ratios very very important i hope you have already done that bada hi important topic hai uh, today we are going to do the turnover these are all these are turnover ratio not inventory turnover these are turnover ratios uh, we are going to do five turnover ratios Inventory turnover ratio, data turnover ratio, credit turnover ratio, fixed asset turnover ratio. Basically, four are. So that's what we are going to do today. Okay. The stock turnover ratio, yeah, inventory turnover ratio. The same thing. The formula to first of all, what is stock turnover ratio? Why it is actually used? Stock turnover ratio. How many times your ah, the stock is. Uh, वो घूम रहा है आपके बिजनेस में राइट आई मीन हाउ मेनी टाइम द स्टॉक इन योर इन योर गो डाउन इज रिप्लेस्ड इन अयर इन अयर हाउ मेनी टाइम्स द स्टॉक इज रिप्लेस्ड ओके सो आई होप यू नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड द कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड वॉट एवर योर सेल्स इज माइनस द ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट माइनस द ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट दैट्स हाउ यू फाइंड आउट द कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड What is average inventory? Whatever the opening inventory is, opening stock plus closing stock divided by two. That's how you calculate the average inventory. Okay. So the stock turnover ratio uh, determine the stock turnover ratio. If the opening stock is thirty one thousand, closing stock is twenty nine thousand. सो एवरेज स्टॉक हमारा जो है दैट इज थर्टी थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी नाइन और थर्टी वन का यू नो एवरेज हमने निकाल लिया दैट इज थर्टी थाउजेंड द सेल्स इज थ्री लाख एंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सेल्स इज थ्री लाख एंड थ्री लाख एंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ओके एंड ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट सो वट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ थ्री लाख एंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इट इज आई गेस एटी एटी थाउजेंड राइट सो फोर्थ ओके फोर्थ ऑफ थ्री लाख ट्वेंटी so the cost of goods sold is 3 lakh uh, 2 lakh and 40000 okay so uh, we need to calculate the stock turnover ratio stock turnover ratio is cost of goods sold divided by average inventory or average stock so our answer is 2 lakh 40000 divided by uh, 30 th uh, 30000 i guess yeah eight times is the answer eight times jo hai that is the answer that is the stock turnover ratio theek hai What is debtor turnover ratio? I hope you know what are debtors. Uh, जिनसे हमने पैसे लेने हैं right? The debtors. Debtor turnover ratio is equal to net credit sales divided by average receivables. What uh, is credit uh, net credit sales? So whatever your total sale is, total sale uh, minus cash sales. Cash sale is obviously not included in credits uh, in the you know uh, is part of total sales, but not uh, it's not a credit sale minus sales returns okay the returns that you received okay so that is net credit sales okay average receivables so receivables or debtors in the in the beginning opening receivables opening receivables plus closing receivables okay divided by 2 That I mean the same way we we calculated the average inventory opening plus closing divided by two. So that is how we calculate the data turnover ratio. Uh, then what is collection period? Collection period क्या है? On an average, in how many days you collect money from debtors? कितने दिनों में debtor अपने पैसे वापस दे देते हैं? So whatever the number you get, okay, whatever let's say it is uh, the data turnover ratio is ten. Let's assume. The total number of days in a year is three sixty five. So divided by ten, so thirty six and a half days. That is your collection period. Okay, you can count it as thirty seven as well. So I have already explained that here. Okay, that's a simple way. It's a little more complicated. Okay, calculate the data turnover ratio. Total sales is given four lakhs. Out of that, cash sale is twenty percent. So twenty percent of four lakh is eighty percent. Okay. So net sale is three lakh and twenty thousand. That is the net credit sales. Net credit sales. We got the net credit sales. Average debtor is how much? Forty thousand plus one lakh twenty thousand 
divided by 2 160 uh, divided by sorry i'm doing it in very short way it is 80000 so we got average debtor we got a net credit sales so 320 divided by 80000 net credit sales divided by average debtors we got a uh, 4 as a debtor turnover ratio 4 times is the answer let's assume that we want to calculate the collection period अगर हमें ये collection period calculate करना है, collection period, let's say in the terms of months, collection period in terms of months, so 12 divided by this 4 here, okay, so collection period is 3 months, 3 months, अगर number of days में निकालना है, तो 365 divided by 4, you can do that way as well, that's up to you, okay, 3 months is a correct answer. So creditor turnover uh, turnover ratio similar to the debtor turnover ratio net credit purchases divided by average accounts payable uh, total purchases minus minus cash purchases okay cash purchase minus uh, purchase returns that is net purchases returns okay that is net credit purchases okay so uh, PNG trading company has good relations with suppliers and makes all the purchases on credit. The following data has been extracted. We got the purchase data. We got the accounts payable data. So we are going to do this. So uh, purchase is this returns are this. So net, uh, you know, purchases credit purchases are two lakh dollars. Okay, two lakh twenty thousand minus twenty thousand two lakh dollars is the net purchases. Average account payables 40,000 plus uh, 20,000, 60,000 divided by 2, 30,000. Uh, 30,000 is, I guess, uh, this is average. 30,000 is, I guess, uh, this is average. Accounts payable on 31st of December 2011 is 40,000. Accounts payable on 31st of December 2012 is 20,000. So, 30,000. So, you want to calculate the uh, turnover ratio so it's 2 lakhs divided by 30,000 2 lakhs divided by 30,000 so you can easily calculate that uh, it's 6.66 that is the ratio credit turnover ratio if you want to calculate in the number of days or uh, collection period if you want to calculate or uh, the the, uh, the the that rare in the, in the number of days okay then you can just simply what you can do is uh, 365 divided by 6.66 that's how you can the pay payment days the payout days okay that's how you can calculate that the working capital ratio uh, the working capital ratio is equal to net sales divided by average working capital net sales divided by average working capital sale kar karne ke liye kitna working capital chahiye so net sales we got uh, 300,000 current assets we got current liabilities we got so we need to find out the average working capital so on 1st of january what is the uh, working capital on 1st of jan 2016 so working capital kitna hai current asset minus current liabilities is equal to working capital so 240 minus 140 is equal to how much 100000 1 lakh okay on uh, december in the month of december 2016 so 280 minus 100,000, what it is 1,80,000. Iska average nikaal lijiye, that would be 280 divided by 2. That would be 1,40,000 is the average inventory. So you got net sales, you got uh, the average inventory. So uh, the ratio, if you want to find out, uh, it would be 3 lakh. The working capital uh, ratio, 3 lakh divided by 1,40,000. So you'll get your answers 2.143. That is your answer. That's a ratio working capital ratio. Okay. Uh, working capital turnover ratio. So working capital in the bottom fixed asset turnover ratio net sales divided by average assets. So how many assets do sell for sale? If a business can make, um, you know, more amount of sales with the fewer assets, that means that business is doing well, very efficient. Hai. If the business is not, uh, you know, uska ratio jo hai, sales come hai. I mean, uh, the sales agar come hai with the same amount of assets. That means wo operationally utna nahi hai. Let me give you an example. 
with the average assets of one lakh, one business is doing, let's say, uh, 10 lakh rupee of sales. Okay. Another one is doing 20 lakh rupee of sales uh, with one lakh rupee average assets. So which one is better? I mean, let's assume they are in the same industry. Obviously, this one is more efficient. So jitni zyada hogi ye asset turnover ratio, it is better. We got a question for you. Two companies are there. Net sales uh, available with us. Net fixed asset opening and closing is given. So you can find out the average uh, fixed asset for X. X ka average nikaloge, you will get it is 22,000 plus 24,000 divided by 2. 22,500 plus 24,000 divided by 2. You get it, I guess, is 23,250. 23, this is for X and what for Y? Uh, 20,000 plus 21,500 divided by 2. You'll get uh, you'll get it at um, 20,750. So we get the average, uh, you know, uh, fixed stock, uh, fixed assets and we got the sales. So we want to calculate the ratios for X. The ratio is 73,500 divided by 23250 a ratio is 3.1613 and for y uh, that would be 94000 divided by 20750 so it comes out to be 4.53 so which is more efficient y is more efficient y jo company hai that is more efficient they are making better use of their assets theek hai so students, Bank of Maharashtra journalist office, of course, we are already doing it on bankexamstudy.com. We are providing complete syllabus coverage. We are providing video classes, notes, test series, live sessions, quizzes, everything is part of the course. Uh, <clears throat> you can drop us a WhatsApp message 9067201000. This is our personal WhatsApp number. Drop your messages. Link to join the course is available in the description. List of our successful students who cracked the previous exams. All these students that took a course in 2022 and they cracked their respective exams in 2020. All these students that took our courses and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for all of them in various exams. They, uh, they, they shine and they, they crack the exam, they crack the interviews and now they are doing their jobs. I'm really, really happy for them. You can be one of them. So links to join the course is available in the description. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts. I'm here to answer your doubts. That's all for today students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.